Hi, I'm Andy Workman. Welcome to vlog number two for Workman Instruments. Today we're going to be covering an update on my submission to the Great British Guitar Build-Off. Uh, so let's get on with that. Main update for anyone who follows my Instagram will already know is we have a fingerboard off. Uh, this is the original neck that came with the with the base kit. I've taken the fingerboard off because uh, I wasn't convinced on the quality of it and I really want to do this as a fretless model. Uh, I've never taken a fretboard off before so it was uh, a learning experience. Best part of taking the fingerboard off was um, in order to start the joint, I heated it up with an iron, lent it over the table, put a decent amount of weight behind the headstock um, to separate the glue joint. It does make a crack. Uh, this is the first time I've done it, but it was an interesting experience. Um, I was then able to, by using the iron, heat up, a, heat up a ruler, heat goes through the ruler into the frets, melts the glue underneath, simple concept. I used the ruler while it was hot, got it into the separated glue joint, wiggled it down slowly, burned myself a lot, um, but eventually learned to, to be like an adult. Uh, moved a couple of frets at the time, managed to get it off. Really successful, fingerboard remains intact, neck remains intact, needs a bit of a clean up, bit of a sand down. Moving on, we've got our replacement fingerboard arrived. This is Rocklight, this is a full rosewood. Uh, it's very eco-friendly, it's very sustainable. It's not made out of paper. There's another product with a similar name that's uh, made out of compressed paper. This is wood, it's got a texture, machines like wood. Um, really excited to use it, I've wanted to try it a while, so it's gonna be interesting to see how, how it comes out. Additionally, I also picked up Peacock Blue Vanilla. Uh, the idea with this is I'm gonna try to have that separating the fingerboard and the neck to give a bit of a slither of blue colour and then I'm going to experiment with the idea of using it to make fret lines with. My other fretless bases have no fret lines so I wanted to try one with fret lines so I'm going to try to use this and we'll, we're going to see how that goes. The final update for today is that I have made a decision on the colour uh, and I've got a sample here. The body's downstairs getting ready to paint. Um, this is the colour I'm going to try and go with, which is described as sea green. Um, it looks gloss on here, but it's certainly a matte. It changes on the light depending on where we're at, between a green to a blue. Uh, really interested to see how that's going to come out. And that's the updates for today. Um, so today we've kind of covered where we're at and where we're going. Uh, thank you for joining and I hope you're able to follow along with the next vlog. See you soon.